Hello and welcome to another Swift tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to talk about booleans. Uh, we're just talking about integers and floats. Now let's talk about the third number type. And you're like, what? Uh, booleans? I thought that was true and false. True and false is correct, but um, booleans are actually part of the integer family. And the reason for that being is true is equal to 1 and false is equal to 0. Now there's not much to to talk about when it comes to booleans except for um, you know that it's true and false uh, true is equal to 1 false is equal to 0 and also um, the fact that they're used mostly in control statements to control the flow of the control statement itself um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at a quick one uh, in the playground here uh, I got mine fired up, fired up, and it's called booleans. And we're just going to write a little if, if statement. I know we haven't talked about if statements. Um, we're going to get there very quickly. Um, but for now, just follow along, and I'll try to explain what we're doing without confusing you. So the first one is if. So the first thing we write is if. If my computer wasn't so slow. There we go. If true is equal, equal which is saying if true is equal to something one then we're gonna put in our uh, brackets here for our block of code we're gonna say print uh, yeah, print true alright and down here we're gonna say else put our second block of code in our control statement and we'll say print uh, false. All right. So in this, it's going to run this code, and it says if true is equal equal to one, then print true. Else, if true is equal to anything other than one, then uh, print false. So in this case, it's going to print true because, uh, well, true is equal to one. It's actually part of the integer family. All right. Now, if you're coming from like uh, Python or something like that. You notice true is the lowercase here, where in Python it's an uppercase, same with false. So let's just uh, change this around a little bit for false. False is equal equal to zero, and true, and it's going to print true here as well because false is equal to zero. All right, so this is um, how we use false and true, not to equal itself to say, hey, it's equal to this. But in control statements, here's a control statement, an if statement, all right? And it and what it does is if this is if this statement up here is true, it will print the next line of code. If not, it will go on to the next uh, box of code, which is right here, and run that. And if that's true, it will do whatever that code says to do. If not, it will keep going, all right? Um, so in the background, uh, Swift is going, is this true or is this false? If it's true, I'll run that block of code for that statement. If not, I'm going to go on to the next block of code. If that uh, statement is true, then I'll run that block of code. If not, I'm going to go on to the next one. All right. So in the background, it's saying, is this false or true? Is this false or true? And that's how a control statement works. All right. So that's basically booleans in Swift. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and provide us with some feedback, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.